Hey guys, what's going on? Alan here, and you're watching the Gibson Garage YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. In fact, I want to give out a big thanks to everybody lately uh, for subscribing, for joining the channel, for just supporting in general. Thank you very much. I hope you keep watching, keep commenting, keep hitting that like button, all right? Um, today, we're going to do an unboxing on this Hercules here. I I know there's others out there, but uh, I don't know, maybe they're passing up something I'm going to show. In fact, I'm going to show you straight out of the box, just see what it looks like. I have not even looked inside, so let's just get right into it. Uh, well, no, let's see what the box has to say on the outside first. This is what you're looking for. And uh, there are some comparisons out there as far as power and everything goes they have it on their website it's supposedly just as good if not better as the dewalt of comparable size and power and the um milwaukee also the other side of the box we've got 11 things to note here pretty cool powerful 15 amp 41 min motor 41 min motor minute what Delivers 4.3 horsepower for superior metal cutting and high demand applications. Five inch max cutting capacity accommodates a wide variety, variety of material. So durable, lightweight, 45 degree capacity. Oh, this, okay, that's this clamp here. Uh, quick adjust vise, it's got this little quick release lever. Oversized blade guard, so it's gonna get in the way all the time probably. Uh, heavy duty steel base we'll check that out when we get it we'll see just how thick it really is uh, built-in storage and spindle lock built-in storage well that's cool I didn't hear about that one adjustable depth for precision cuts ergonomic D handle that was something too that made me go for this over the Milwaukee extra large spark guard oh that's the this scoop in the back here catches the guard uh, catches the sparks mm-hmm mm -hmm. volts 120 15 amp 14 inch wheel cutting capacity is five inches arbor size that's like the hole in the center that it bolts to one inch table size versus overall size Oh, okay, they're just adding the height. Uh, speed is 41,000 minutes. It's not, it can't be minutes. What is, what am I missing? I'm having a brain fart, I think. Weighs 39 pounds. Minutes. First of all, directions right on top. Okay, 14 inch abrasive cutoff saw. Now, really I would like to find a blade that's, um, what do they call it, sparkless blade? It's like got those large, it's actually really large teeth. They're not abrasive, but they don't spark. Uh, they kind of spin really slow, it looks like, but um, this was readily available and probably much more in my price range compared to those saws. Right away, there's a lot of, a lot of words and letters. Mm, oh, more of those. Grounding instructions, extension cords. Here's some numbers, great. Ah, pictures, these are fun. I like these. These tell you stuff. I don't know about words. All kinds of pictures. And, oh. I like these blown apart diagrams, so you can take it apart and put it back together yourself for no reason at all. Okay. Just cardboard. Nothing in there. And voila. Oh, cool, we've got Stains already. What is that? Nothing 
nothing in there. And we got a top handle too. I didn't even realize that. That'll make it nice. So let's see if it says 39 pounds. Okay. That's what 39 pounds feels like. Jesus. I swear that's 50. Nothing else in the box. Lots of padding though. I mean, this thing's in there pretty secure. Lots of, lots of padding. Alright, so we got this. Just. Oh, okay. That's during shipping, I guess. It, it, it doesn't bottom out on metal. Or itself. There's the lock. I think I was told no how do you do it oh that's the blade lock I don't know how to use it oh push in there it goes ah, yeah but we don't need to change it comes with a blade obviously we'll see how good that works I also have a brand new blade in my other one so well it's not brand new let's see pull that out and up it goes here's an adjustable stop like they were talking about so you don't sink the blade any further than you want to no oh, okay so in case you just don't want to go all the way through I'm sitting here thinking well all the way through is all the way through what's a freaking matter but yeah Uh, feels all right, I guess. This is, uh, these caps here are so you can replace the brushes inside. So if you, obviously it's going to be full of dust from grinding and shit, so that's probably something you'll want to keep in mind is replacement parts. I wonder how expensive replacement parts are right now. Maybe just keep some on stock. I got to get an Allen wrench for this. Okay, they didn't crank them down or hard. And they're flanged too, so that's cool. The nuts are flanged, so it's gonna provide that extra clamping force without having to just super twist on them. So that, oh. okay, loosen it up first. Now we're, now we're free. Okay, there's a pivot bolt. Oops, and a clamp bolt. Loosen both, just a hair. Okay, we can go, you can actually go a little bit past 45 if you wanted to, what's that? Let's see, 15, 30, 45. So that's like 35, 40, 45. You can almost go 50 degrees on that. Okay. Well, let's put her at zero. That doesn't look zero. That looks terrible. Is this thing throwing me on? Okay, well that's a bummer. This thing isn't lined up just right. So, what is, for zero anyway, it's like a line thickness off. Let's see if I can double check it with a square. Okay, so this is about square now with the blade and of course well this slot also seems to be square with the blade so coming up here to look and wow actually it is dead on and it still looks crooked to my eyeball but it's hey I mean I've been using this for years, so if it's wrong now, I'm going to keep using it anyway. Oh, and I'm a dumbass. Look, it comes with the wrench. Do you see that? Big ol' one. It's, it's bigger than mine by like a little. Cool. I wonder if that's what they mean by storage. Is that is that it? You include a tool, you better store it. That's not something you brag about. Come on. It's also very light. I, I kind of I have no problems with that, I guess. I'm not 
don't want to have it. Let's see what underneath looks like. Okay, we're padded feet. We got nice padded feet. Even looks replaceable. Maybe. Is this the storage compartment? How do you get access to it? Can you hide your. What? I don't know. So you also got three positions here to move this stop that swivels. So you can, I don't know, maximize your ergonometry. I'm not sure what's best for cutting, like in front of the blade, center of the blade, behind the blade. Honestly, I don't know, but maybe someone out there can tell me. Uh, so I've got it plugged in. There's plenty of cord here. Nice long cord. I'd say that's probably at least six feet. There's probably an answer somewhere on the box. Um, <laughs> but let's cut some pipe. Okay, here it goes. Well, I'm not cutting yet, actually. Yeah, you can see all my lights dim when I do that. I guess it sounds good. This is going to be nice for making pie cuts if I ever have to. Let's tighten that up. Gonna do a 45 degree cut. Ah. Okay, so I've got a problem. You gotta make sure that's real tight. Cause I just realized the more I'm tightening this, I'm straightening it out. See that? So that wasn't tight enough and I'm, I gotta, oh, and it was picking it up too. So these extreme angles are a little tricky. It looks like it kind of wants to twist and it and bend it. So I don't know. And it looks like it kind of wants to push it up too because of the way it's twisting. Let's try again. Okay, so it's not the best. This pipe did lift up during the clamping. I noticed when I released the clamp, it fell. So it moved either while cutting or while clamping, but gotta pay attention to that, I guess, in the future. The blade, the cutting was very nice, however. Like, it's got a lot of power. It was really like butter. Nothing to worry about it as far as the cutting power. And... <laughs> quality really well you guys can decide for yourself now keep in mind that first cut I went right through that same cut in a way but it's typical cleanup I guess for this kind of stuff the backing plate did not move this time so that's good let's do a straight cut
see I don't like that it's so low because this is just two and a half inch pipe and it's it's right in the center now when you start getting the taller stuff round stuff anyways and you're gonna start pushing underneath the pipe so that's something to keep in mind Now I kind of just forced my way through that cut. I wanted to put some load on it, be a little mean to it, see what it did. And uh, it took it, really. It's, it ate it right up. So that's gonna do it for the unboxing. Um, you know, I'm compared to what I was using, <laughs> I'm not mad about it at all. Let's get that straight. Not disappointed with the purchase at all. This is what I was using, like a 20 year old Black & Decker wood saw by the way, with no clamp. And that thing just did not have power to cut through metal. I would be sitting there, brr, 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 you know, just trying to chop my way through metal. So this had to happen for me. And uh, yeah, you know, I would have liked a Milwaukee, but that handle, that handle, man, it got me. I didn't want that, that type of ax handle. I liked the D handle and and uh, yeah, that was pretty much the selling point. And it still had all the power and, you know, options that the Milwaukee had. So there it is. Now, I did need this again because it's not just, well, I cut lots of stuff. But the project I got coming up is this exhaust kit. Don't. Shh. And I got this too, but that's going to be another video. So those two items to do this exhaust kit. But that's gonna do it, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. If you got a Hercules, how long you've had it, and uh, I don't actually, I don't even know how old these are, so I don't know how long somebody could have had it by now. But let me know. Tell me what you think. See you guys later. Yeah, it just it doesn't. It's just a visual. It's messing with my mind. <laughs>